Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and welcome to a new reading vlog. I thought what better way to actually like make myself read than do a challenge. So this week's challenge is going to be to read 200 pages every single day. In this case for five days, I record for five days. So today's Monday. It is 7.30 and I could have started this vlog like in the morning or even in the early afternoon. But it's 7.30 and I haven't read a single page of my book. I have 200 pages to go. Now, I'm going to be reading uh, Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I started this book a couple of days ago, but I didn't read anything yesterday, I don't think. And I'm on page 34, so got to read to page 234 today. I'm just going to get started. Honestly, I'm going to put on something in the background don't really know what yet and we're just gonna get right into it i don't have a lot of info on this book i know it's about a retired tennis player that goes back to playing tennis in order to beat her own record who was beat by someone else and she doesn't want to like go down in history as someone who had their records beaten by somebody else so that's as that's all i know all right, hey guys, so it is currently, it's 4.26, and I was just sitting here, I'm reading, I'm not that far into it, I've read like 30 pages since I last spoke to you, and I really feel myself getting into a reading slump. I'm gonna put this at the beginning of the video, so this is a warning, this video was supposed to be me reading 200 pages a day for five days, it is now going to be realistically what I'm reading, trying to avoid a reading slump in a week. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Honestly, I this is just like a little forewarning because I am gonna be for the first few days saying I want to read 200 pages. This is, I hope you guys understand. I'm just really trying to not get into a reading slump because that would not be fun for anyone, okay? Um, the video had one purpose, we're shifting gears a little bit, but I think it's still gonna be really fun. I will still be reading. Uh, just not as much as I hoped I could, but that's okay because I have already made some progress I've already read quite a bit this week and I'm very happy with that I'm just really really trying not to get into a reading slump So I hope you guys understand and I hope you enjoyed this video Hey guys, it's the next day. Yes, I'm wearing the same thing, but it's the next day, okay? I really like this sweater. And anyways, I have to update you. I only read about 70 pages yesterday, which means I astronomically failed the 200 page challenge for yesterday, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to somewhat make up for it today. I'm currently on page 103. This book is 364 pages long. The goal is to finish it today. Like I actually, I have to finish it today. I have to say I'm loving the book. I'm finding it very interesting. As someone who knows not a lot about tennis, but I've always been very fascinated by tennis as a sport, 
I'm loving reading about it, learning more about it, kind of like how I really liked learning more about chess when I read Check and Mate. So I think it's um, really well done. I just love Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing style, the way she writes characters, and there's always a little thread connecting her book. I'm loving this book so far. I'm only about 100 pages in, so not super, super far into it. But Carrie Soto has just come out of retirement. She's currently practicing to compete in the Australia Open. I think it is. Um, and the first 100-ish pages, like maybe the first 80 or 90 pages, it's ba basically just her backstory, her childhood, her family life as a child, and also how she gets into tennis, her getting into tennis and becoming the greatest tennis player of all time, and then retiring at age 30. And now she's 37 and she's coming out of retirement to fight for the title that she achieved when she was 30 because it's being disputed by another player that is also in her 30s or I think she's 29 or 30 or something so she's practicing to come out of retirement and that's what we've got going on so far I think this is going to be one of my favorite books I, I can already tell you that this is probably going to be one of my favorite books um, this year because I like I just I'm getting that feeling you know Hey guys, it is like, I don't even know, 11-ish, almost 11. I just came back from dinner. My boyfriend and I got some sushi tonight and I would have filmed, but my camera died right before I was about to go out. Also, there's a thunderstorm going on right now. It like just started 10 minutes ago, so that's really fun. 
I would like to report that I did in fact read 200 pages today. Now I know I said I wanted to finish the book. I have 60 pages left. I'm still going to read some more. I'm gonna go get ready for bed and then I'm gonna go to, go to bed and read some more. But I'm not gonna finish this book today. Only tomorrow will I be able to decide if this is really what I want to do. But I am already reading this book. I'm on page 66, I think it was, 67. So I'm on page 67, this book is 160 pages long. So it would be just under 100 pages here. Actually, it's 260, sorry. It would be just under 200 pages. So I can see myself maybe finishing Carrie Soto's back and then completing this one as well. And that would make it two books in what, four days? Good morning you guys it's the next day it's around it's almost 12 right now and i haven't done any reading because i had a shower and everything and i was just doing other things but i'm gonna get right into reading now i ended up not reading any more of carrie soda's back last night so i have 60 pages of this left i'm almost done so let's just go ahead and finish this right now and then after that i'll be picking up Eileen and if I can I'll try to finish this. I have 200 pages of this so we'll see if I can actually finish it. If not I'll have to read at least 160 pages of it today so let's see what we can do. to say I find it incredibly cruel that Taylor Jenkins Reid decided to kill some- I- <sighs> I wish I was reading this without makeup on because I want to cry and I have- I'm tearing up right now because of what just happened. The book Bo was reading Please. Oh, I love Bo. I love Bo. I love Bo so much. Seriously. Um, yeah, it's amazing. What the fuck? How about finishing the sentence? I 
I think this is gonna be 4.5 stars. All right, hey guys, so I just changed, as you can probably tell, and that's because I'm going to the grocery store. I need to pick up a couple things, and I also wanna get highlighters for my reading. I wanna get highlighters specifically for when I read Crescent City 3, so uh, I'm gonna go do that right now, and I'm gonna bring you guys along, and I thought that I might go to the cafe at the grocery store and just sit there for a little bit and read, because I just am kind of sick and tired of reading at home, just like sitting around reading at home, so we're gonna do that. Hopefully I can actually do some reading, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, obviously, so let's go. Hey guys, so as you guys saw earlier, I started reading Eileen again. So this is what I'm currently reading. I'm on page like 75, I want to say. Yeah, I'm on page 75. The goal is to get to at least page 200. So I've decided I'm just going to take an hour right now and just read without any interruptions. So I'll read you what it says on the back because I'm not going to be able to explain this properly. All right, so um, trapped between caring for alcoholic father and her job as a secretary at the boys' prison, Eileen Dunlop dreams of escaping to the big city. In the meantime, her nights and weekends are filled with shoplifting and cleaning up her father's messes. When the beautiful, charismatic Rebecca St. John arrives on the scene as the new counselor at the prison, Eileen is enchanted, unable to resist what appears to be a miraculously budding friendship. But soon, Eileen's affection for Rebecca pulls her into a crime that far surpasses even her own wild imagination. So right now, at, like at the point that we're in, the um, she's thinking of escaping. That's pretty much what's going on right now. just reached page 100 of Eileen now I know I said I wanted to get to page 200 this means that I've only read 100 pages today I've read 60 of Carrie Soto's back and now 40 of this I'm not gonna lie I'm not loving this book right now because I'm just not really in the mood for this kind of book and I think it's just best if I pick something else I'm not really sure what I want to read next. I was thinking maybe Chain of Gold, but I think I'm just going to go on my Kobo and try to find something there. Like, I'm just, I don't know what I want to read, and I 
might just take a little break maybe try and find some book racks maybe try to get into chain of gold maybe reread a book i could also just reread something that would be no issue at all i don't know what i want to do so i'm just going to take a little bit of a break figure that out and i'll update you guys as soon as i decide what i'm going to do next good morning actually good afternoon it's like it's one o'clock i haven't read anything today but i did go to pilates for the first time in months it was so good and i had a shower i cleaned my room which needed to be cleaned so bad and i just did like a couple of things around the house and i'm gonna go make myself some lunch and i thought well, i'm gonna update you guys before i go make lunch so i don't know where i left off yesterday i think i was about to start chain of gold i'm very happy that i'm starting this book not gonna lie now did i read 200 pages yesterday no i did not i did however read 125 which i'm personally very happy with yesterday i was feeling a little slumpish after i um at one point after i spoke to you guys I think it was when I said I wasn't really into Eileen. I was just not really in the mood to be reading, so I did a couple other things to distract myself. And I just wasn't really in the mood to read. I did still start Chain of Gold, of course, I'm on page 25. And the goal today is to get to page 225, which is right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm trying to, yeah. So this is where i'm at this is where i want to get so that is about eight chapters i feel like i could do that honestly i'm gonna go make myself some lunch i'm gonna read and i'll probably see you guys when i'm reading well you'll see me when i'm reading but you know what i mean
hey guys it's the next day it is like it's two o'clock it's 2 15. i haven't filmed anything today but i have been very productive not reading wise i've just done a whole lot of other things like around the house and everything and i'm gonna update you like i want to update you on my reading i don't know where i told you i was yesterday i ended up not reading anything else i'm on page 81 80 or 81 i'm not sure i have to go figure that out i am loving this book i do also have something to tell you where is it i bought a new book i went to the bookstore because I went to drop my brother off at school and then I was just like, you know what? I don't really have much to read after I'm done with Chain of Gold. Uh, and I might not want to go right into Chain of Thorns, Iron. I don't know, the second one. And so I need something else or just like a little palette cleanser. So I picked up Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. As I'm sure we're all aware, I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, so I thought, why not pick up a new book of hers? I do know, I realized that not that long ago, that this follows the kids, or at least one of the kids, of one of Evelyn Hugo's ex-husbands. So, yeah. As I mentioned before, these books are kind of connected, like they all happen in the same place at the same time. So I'm excited to read this when the time comes. So I'm just going to add this to the book cart. I'm going to go make myself some lunch because I'm starving. I'm also getting my nails done at 4 today. So in about a couple hours, I need to like leave the house and go get my nails done. I was supposed to go yesterday, but she had to go to the hospital. So I'm going today. And I jammed my finger in my closet door, which was not very fun. And it really hurts my pinky. Um... Yeah, thankfully my nail is fine. But I'm just gonna go do some reading, eat, and I'll catch up with you guys later. So here's what's going on. I don't remember when I last spoke to you guys. It's six o'clock. I got back from getting my nails done a little bit ago. This is what they look like. Wait, they look so good. I got like chrome, red chrome. They look amazing. Is this gonna focus? Okay, thank you. I have just made myself a coffee. I'm gonna read for a little bit right now i don't really know how much and this is the last day of the vlog so i definitely run the read a little bit but we'll see how much i get to today Hey guys, 
so it's a little bit later i've been reading a little more and my camera is about to die but i just wanted to thank you for watching this video if you are not yet subscribed to my channel for more content like this if you did enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up all of my social media will be linked down below so you can follow me on there as well for more content of you know books and other things in my life and i will see you guys again next tuesday with another book vlog video i don't know uh until then i hope you have a wonderful week a wonderful day just a wonderful time